moment to just settle ourselves in and bring ourselves here to give us this time. So you can find a comfortable seat, close your eyes for just a moment, and let yourself take a few deep breaths. And release your day and let yourself come here. Give yourself this time to practice yoga. This time for you. When you're ready, you can start to open your eyes. Now let's start with a check-in to get to know each other and how we're doing today. So we know each other, right? Yeah. We're familiar. <laughs> but let's see how how we're doing today. So I thought maybe a good way, let's try describing how we feel with what color. What color do you feel today? Um, if you want to describe what that means, what that color means, you can. If you'd rather not, you can just leave it at your color. So I'll start. Today I am feeling green. I am feeling green and to me that means that I'm feeling very grounded and um, earthy. I want to I wanna be outside today. That's what green means to me today. What about you? What color do you feel today? I feel like this super light pink. Okay. Because I'm calm and it, it just feels right for me at the moment. I like that. That's awesome. For a really nice light pink. Like lighter than the pink on your heart. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Before we start to get into some movement, yoga is not only about moving, it's also about um, breathing and getting to know ourselves. There's more elements. So I thought today for a breath practice, we would breathe with this. So have you ever seen this? Do you know what this is? Um, I've seen it before. Do you know what it's for? A spiky breathing ball. A spiky breathing ball. I like it. It's a toy, but it's a really great tool. It's called a Hoberman sphere. And what's neat about this is that it opens and closes. And we can use this to represent our breath. So when we pull this open, we can breathe and let that breath into our lungs as we pull it open, and then we can close and breathe out and let that breath out as we close it. So we can let our breath match the ball. So if we were gonna breathe really fast, we could go <laughs> Or we could breathe really slow and be a Or we could be somewhere in the middle. So let's try that for a few breaths so we can face each other. And let's try to breathe with the ball. So as I pull it open, let's let that breath in. And as we close it up, we'll breathe out. All right, so we'll breathe in and breathe out. Let's do that again. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's do that again. Inhale and exhale. Would you like to try? Yeah. Okay. So now I'll breathe as you move the ball. Breathe with it too. <laughs> I don't know if I can catch 
job with it. <laughs> so it's a really cool tool to show our breath, right? Yeah. So that was pretty fun, right? It's called a Hoberman Sphere. Before we start to move, I have a really cool story about loving kindness that I thought I'd share. And then afterwards, we'll start to move. Okay. And we'll find some poses that can help us find some loving kindness within, within ourselves. Um, so, the story goes, and find a comfortable seat so that you can listen. A man and his son were going through the forest hills. Suddenly, the boy fell down on the trail and screamed with a pain. Ah! Surprisingly, he heard the same voice from the mountain. Ah! Curiously, the boy shouted, Who is this? But the voice replied the same. Who is this? He got angry and shouted again, You are stupid! And again the voice replied the same, You are stupid! Annoyed by this, the boy asked, asked his father, What is going on? Who is this? The father replied, Son, pay attention. The father shouted, You are very nice! And the voice responded the same, You are very nice! The father again shouted, Thank you! And the voice again responded the same, Thank you! The son was very surprised, but he could still not understand what was happening. The father explained, Son, people call it resonance, but this is the truth of the life. The life is a reflection of your actions. What you give to others you will receive the same in return. What do you think? Um, do you have any thoughts? Like, it's kind of about like, what that like means or it's echo. Thoughts? Like, if you're having like a bad day and you start thinking, I can't do this anymore, then you'll start believing that. True, right? Totally. So it is like an echo. What you put out, the, the moral of the story is that what you put out into the world, or what you speak to yourself, you'll it receive. Yes, it comes back to you. It'll, you'll receive it in return. So if you are, like say you have a really hard test, and you tell yourself, I have a really hard test, I can't, this is so hard, I can't do this. You're going to start believing that you can't do this. But if you change that around and say, I have a really hard test, this is really hard, but I can do this. Then you'll start believing. Then you'll start believing. And you're giving yourself that loving kindness. So what you send out into the world, you'll get back in return. Yeah. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of like you, if you act like this to someone else, they'll act right back to you. Yes, exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's why we treat others with kindness and love always, right? We're sending that love out and then we'll get it back. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's try to do some, let's think about that as we're doing some yoga today. And let's think about trying to send that love towards ourselves and towards others. So if a pose is a little difficult, tell yourself, I can do this. It's okay. It's a practice, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's start with a warm-up. We'll start with some sun salutations because it's a really good way to warm up. Now let's find ourselves coming to the front of our mats. Trying to be in the frame there. There we go. <laughs> All right. So we'll inhale, reach our arms up to the sky. Exhale to bring your hands to the earth. Inhale to bring your hands to your shins. Find a nice long spine. Find that L with your body. Yes. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step your feet back long. Find yourself in that plank pose. Press your into your heels and find a nice long line with your body. Yes. 
Good job. Well, exhale to lower down. Inhale to lift up, find a cobra. Exhale, come into a child's pose. Find your breath. And then tucking your toes under, lifting your knees. Come into a down dog. Maybe make a little movement. So what is your body asking for? Does it want you to wiggle and twist your hips from side to side? To shake your legs? To press your heels back? Or maybe come up onto your tippy toes? And let's look forward and we'll step our feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Forward fold. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Nice. Should we do that once more? Yeah. All right. Sounds good. I'm going to move this back a little bit. Okay. So let's start here in mountain pose. Find your breath. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to the ground, reaching down to earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step your feet back, come into your plank. Nice job. Try to make that nice long line with your body. Beautiful. Inhale and exhale to let go. Inhale, lift up, cobra. Exhale, find a child's pose. Inhale, lift up, down dog. And let's look forward, step feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Nice. Do you feel like your body's warmed up a little bit? Yeah. Awesome. Um, so let's try to go through a few um, sequences to try to show loving kindness towards ourselves. So, um, I have a thought to do a pose that speaks to, to that, to do, um, a pose that represents sending loving kindness to yourself or out into the world. Um, and I thought, Maybe we could both show a pose that kind of speaks to that. Okay. Um, do you want me to go first? Um, then, yeah. Or would you like to go first? Mm, I want to go first. You want to go first this time? Yeah. Okay. So any pose or maybe a sequence of poses, maybe a few poses that, that kind of show loving kindness or what that might mean to you. Okay. Or maybe making up a pose. into headstand. It's finding that strength so that we can start working towards um, a headstand or a handstand. Those poses are upside down. That was a good one. Um, my pose for showing loving kindness is what's called wild thing or a, um, it's also called rock star. So we're going to come into the down dog again. Find ourselves in our downward dog. And then we'll lift one leg up. I'm lifting my right leg up to start. Bend that knee and let your hips open. And then we'll let that foot come over behind us. Oh, you already got it. And let your heart open. So there's a really nice heart opener so we can think of sending that love out into the world. And we'll come back over, find that down dog again. And we're going to do it on the other side. Lift that left leg up, bend that knee, open your hips, and then let it travel over to find that wild thing on the side. Beautiful. A rock star. Show how much of a rock star you are, right? Good 
All right, let's find a few poses or sequences that, um, or flows to continue that thought, okay? So let's start out with um, coming into a tabletop and we'll find a few cat cows. Here's a really good arch your back, reach it up towards the sky, and inhale, let your heart come forward, looking forward. And coming back into that cat, and then move into that cow, moving back and forth. And starting to try to move your body with your breath. Or thinking about your breath as you move. Let's move into a walking cat. So bring one leg back, so I have my right leg back and my left arm, so the opposite arm forward. Not right and left. Yes, exactly. So we're going to reach out and then bring those down and switch sides. It's called a walking cat because then we're gonna move a little bit back and forth. We're just like a, like a cat stretching as they walk. They just woke up from their nap and they do their cat arch and now they're stretching out as they walk. Beautiful. Let's find ourselves starting to come up. We'll come into a down dog. And then let your feet walk forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale to reach up towards the sky. And then exhale, hands to heart. Let's find some standing postures. Um, another pose that I think is very powerful and sends a really good message of loving kindness to yourselves and to others is warrior two. It's a very powerful pose, right? So let's find ourselves in that warrior two. Let's open our hearts to find reverse warrior. Nice. And we'll come forward. Let's do a little bit of an extended side angle. Beautiful. Now coming back up, let's go into a half moon pose. So this one's a little bit challenging. Let's try it maybe first against the wall and then we can try it here on our mat afterwards. So half moon is, is a lot of fun. We're gonna go, we're gonna start out against the wall and we'll find ourselves in our warrior here. And then we want to look forward, we're going to reach that front arm forward and then try to bring it to the ground a little bit in front of that front foot. And then we're going to lift that back leg up and using the wall we can use the wall as support so that we can try to find ourselves leaning against it. And we'll do one side and then come back down and then we'll try to move over to the other side. So we'll find that warrior two on this side Reach that arm forward, bring it to the ground. Let's see if I try to avoid the, the plant. So I bring my, my, <laughs> there we go. Nice. Here did I, the aloe plant was keeping my head safe and. All right, so there you go. Use the wall. Nice, and breathe. There you go. Awesome. Try it on the other side. Reach down. Yes. Beautiful. Good job. Let's try coming back to our mat and we'll try to do that again, okay? So let's start on that first side that we were on. And we want to reach that front arm forward and bring it to the ground. And then we'll try to bring that back leg in and lift up. There you go. You got it. Nice job. Let's do that sequence on the other side and then we'll try that half moon on the other side. So first we'll start out with that warrior two. And then we'll move into reverse warrior. Open our heart, find length. Come forward, extended side angle. 
Nice. Reach up. Find that warrior two. And then we're going to reach forward. Now sometimes it's helpful to bring that back hand to your heart here. So we reach forward and then bring that hand to the earth and start out here. And then maybe we peel that top arm open a little bit. Nice. It's a practice, right? Yeah. So it's a, it's a tough balance. We practice and we, we get better and better. That's what practice is, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, let's try another balance pose. Um, you are in, um, it's, this is called dancer pose. You're, you are in ballet, so this might look familiar to something that you've seen in class before. Um, and it's called dancer pose. It's a really, it's another really good balance pose. So we're going to start out on our left side, really try to root yourself into that left side, find balance there. And then we're going to lift that right foot up with your right hand, grab onto your right foot and bring your left hand to your heart. And then to the heart on your shirt is perfect, right? And then you press your foot into your hand. Now you can stay right here. This is perfect. This is the answer. But then taking it a little bit further, maybe you press into your foot and maybe your upper body starts to lean forward a little bit. And then if that feels good, maybe you extend that front hand. I always find myself walking and <laughs> It's a walking dancer. What I do is I okay. just look at something that doesn't move. And yes. Keep your eye on that, and that, if that doesn't move, then you won't move. And that's a great, great suggestion. So if you look at something that isn't moving, so don't look at me when I'm <laughs> being all wobbly. Look at something that isn't moving around you, right? Maybe a spot on the wall or the floor. Yeah, that isn't moving, and try to focus there. Nice. Let's try that and see how that changes it for the other side. So we'll lift up that foot, grab on, and press that foot in. Find that thing that isn't moving and start to press your foot into your hand. Maybe you lean forward a little bit. And if that feels good, maybe your arm comes out. Beautiful. Did you feel more balanced when you used yeah, that? Yeah, I felt more balanced. Me too. That was a wonderful suggestion. When we're looking at something and we're not focused on us being wobbly and we're looking at something that isn't moving, yeah. then we're able to find ourselves balanced. That's awesome. Good suggestion. Uh, let's start to come into frog pose. So we want to bring our feet a little bit wide, right? Inhale, arms overhead, and exhale, come down into that frog pose. Now we know frog pose well, right? Yeah. Sometimes they like to do the rivets with the frog pose, right? Rivet, rivet, rivet. Nice. Um, I thought maybe we'd try frog pose with a twist. So we bring, so when we're here in our frog pose, we can bring one hand over to the opposite side and then lift that arm up. Alright, so we're starting to find a twist. And then try it over on the other side. And then maybe come back to the first side. And if that feels good, maybe wrap that arm around your back. And then come back over to the other side again. And again, try wrapping that arm around your back. Beautiful. Come back to center and release. Let your body come back down. We're going to come all the way down onto our bellies and find ourselves in a, in a crocodile pose first. So let your head release first over to one side. Take a breath. And then let your head come over to the other side, so we're stretching a little bit through our neck. And we'll let it come back to center. 
Have you ever done bow pose? No. Okay. So bow pose is like like a bow and arrow. So do you know what a bow looks like for a bow and arrow? Um, it's kind of like a like a circle, like it's like a bend, and mm -hmm. you're pushing the wire back to make like this oval. Yeah. Right. So we're gonna try to create that bow with our body. So we're going to start out on one side, we'll bring our feet up, and we'll reach back with our right hand, grab onto our foot, kind of like we did with dancer pose, then we press into your foot to lift up. Nice. So let's do one side, and then let's try doing the other side. Grab onto that foot, reach in, press your foot back. Nice. And then we'll try with both hands. So bring both your feet up, grab onto your feet, and then press your feet away to lift yourself up. Just and, like rock. Yeah, and then you can rock a little bit. Ooh, I'm <laughs> I don't think my body rocks a little bit. <laughs> Very little. <laughs> nice. So that is our bow pose. Now let's chart, let's find ourselves in a little bit of a child's pose. Let our body release there. And then we'll come on to our seat. And let's try a lotus pose. Um, a lotus pose is a flower. A lotus is a flower that grows in muddy water. Um, do you know what a lotus pose looks like? I know what a lotus is. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's a flower, right? It's a really pretty flower. So, um, lotus pose, we're trying to, it's, uh, so when you come first to crisscross applesauce, right? This is, this is exactly what we're trying to do. So we're trying to put both feet. So first we do one. Let's start out with one side first. So with your, with your body in that crisscross applesauce, you bring one foot up onto your thigh, and then we just sit here for just like this. This is called half lotus. Yeah. And then let's try that on the other side. So we'll release that and try bringing that other foot right onto your thigh. All right? And then we can try seeing if full lotus. So when we do full lotus, we bring that other foot right so that both of our feet are right on our thighs. And then we're kind of turned into a bit of a pretzel, right? <laughs> so <laughs> from here you can do it totally. You can you can take this further. You can find a like a rocking lotus. You can press into your hands to lift your body and maybe your lotus rocks a little bit. No, it's waves. It's waves, right? Yes. Rocking the lotus on the, on the yeah. lily pad, right? Now let's start to, let's find a game. This is a really fun game. Um, play a game called Mirror Mirror. This is super fun. So the idea is that one person is the mirror, and the other person is the person doing the actions. So that when you're the mirror, you want to copy everything that the other person does. So if we're connecting, then maybe we move in sync, or maybe we start to move at the same time. Okay. All right? Okay, so do you want to be the mirror first, or should I be the mirror first? Um, you should be the I should be the mirror first, or but the, the person? person who does. Okay, so you're the mirror. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you follow what I do.
that you hurt, right? So yeah. it's hard to stay. Let's try it this way, maybe it's easier to balance. There you go. Nice. All right, your turn. You go. I'll copy. I'll be the mirror. Mirror, mirror. Shavasana is the time that we just let ourselves relax and let everything go. Um, while we're doing Shavasana, I'm going to read you a, we'll do a, a meditation. It's called a Meta Meditation, which is a loving kindness meditation. So it goes, goes perfectly with our theme. So you can lay back and find yourself comfortable in Shavasana. Right, let your legs release and let your arms release if you want to put your arms on your belly or at your side or covering your eyes if you want to close your eyes or maybe having a soft gaze and as we release here letting our body be heavy finding ourselves Letting everything go. And then start to bring our focus to yourself. And repeat these words in your head after I say them. May I be happy. May I be well. May I be safe. May I be peaceful and at ease. Sending all of those loving thoughts to yourself. Now starting to bring your focus to someone that you love. Picture them in your mind. Bring their their face to your forefront of your mind and start to repeat these words after me. May they be happy. May they be well. May they be safe. May they be peaceful and at ease. Now start to bring it to your focus. Someone who has upset you, someone who you, you maybe don't like very much at this moment or you don't care for very much. Bring them to your mind and then repeat these words after me. May they be happy. May they be well. May they be safe. May they be peaceful and at ease. Now start to bring to mind all the people in the world. Picture the whole earth and everyone in it. And after me, repeat these words in your head. May they be happy. May they be well. May they be safe. May they be peaceful. Just so send that loving kindness all out throughout the world. And start to bring your breath back, taking a few deep breaths, letting that inhale come in big and full, and exhale 
letting it release. And starting to find some movement, wiggling fingers, wiggling toes, stretching your body out. Is there any slowly starting to come back to a seat? And before we finish off with our namaste, I like to ring our chimes here. Do you know what these are called? Tingshas. Tingshas. You know. They're called tingshas. It's like a chime and it makes a really pretty noise. Makes that chime, that bell sound, it creates a vibration. So it keeps ringing for a while. So while we listen to the chime or the ting shuds, um, we can sit and listen to see how long we can hear that vibration for. So I want you to find a nice, comfortable seat, sit up tall. And if you'd like to close your eyes, you can, so that you can really focus your senses on your hearing and um, release the, the other sensations, the other senses. And when you no longer hear the sound of the chimes, you can bring your hand to your heart, or maybe raise your hand, and see how long we can hear it for, okay? Okay. You ready? Ears. Let's try again, right? Here we go. Nice. Let's do it once more, okay? Okay. our class by saying namaste so let's come together bring our hands together and namaste simply means the light within me sees and honors the light within you namaste thank Thanks. you thank Welcome. you <laughs> awesome thank you